Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation right here. So we have to find the change in the pressure of 2 NH3 gas plus 2 O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with N2O gas plus 3 H2O gas. Now I say that we have to find the change in the pressure because I see that they gave me a unit of TOR. TOR is a unit of pressure, so that's just memorizable. So we're not dealing with concentrations here, we're dealing with pressures. Now how are we going to find out these little values here, right? The, the, the slots that we got to write our answers in. It comes from what we know. Now in this case, they told us that we had H2O, right, gas, and that was increasing by a X value. And I know that it's increasing because this value is a positive value, right? They didn't say that this was negative, so I have to know that this is positive. So if this is increasing by X, and this is a product, if this is increasing, what do you think is going to happen to the other product? If the one product is increasing in amount, the other product has to be increasing as well, giving this the N2O as a plus value as well. And now if all of the products are increasing, what's going to happen to the reactants? Yeah, the reactants have to decrease. You can't all increase the whole system. If the products are going up, that means that the reactants have to go down. And we represent that by decreasing. So for NH3, that's going to be decreasing a minus number, and the O2 is also going to be a minus number. But now, how do we figure out what these values are? Well, this one's a little tricky. If, if you've been with us on the playlist and you've done the other 61 questions, right? I think this is like part D or something. I would say to look at those coefficients, right? There's a two here. There's a two here. There was no number here. That means that there's a one and there's a three here. But let's see, does it match? Since there was a three H2O, you should have seen a plus 3x, right? But what happened? How, you know, is it plus 3x? No, it's not, right? I, had, I basically just have a 1x here. So let's see how we got rid of that. Let's follow the general rule of using the coefficients. So technically, this would have been 3x. This, since there was a 1 here, this was plus 1x, but if we just say, you know, plus 1x, the 1x is just meaning that it's an x. This, the coefficient was 2 in front of the O2, so technically this would be minus 2x. And then the same thing here, there was a 2 in front of the NH3, so this is minus 2x. But we got to change it up a little bit, guys, because we don't want 3x. We just want the x value. How are we going to get rid of that 3? Well, if I just wanted a 1 here, and it was a 3, 3 divided by what will just give me the 1? Yeah, 3 divided by 3. If I just took that 3 divided by 3, that equals just an x value. But I got to be fair. So maybe I'll just do this, right? This was 1x. This is equal to 3x. And maybe I will reroute this because I want to show you guys that it was coming from the coefficient. But since we wanted an x there, we have to divide by 3, right? But as I say many, many times throughout this channel, you got to be fair. So you got to do it to all of the numbers, right? There was a 1 here. So this would be minus 2 divided by 3. This would be... And maybe let's just make this a little bit now better. So this would be minus 2 divided by 3x. This would also be minus 2 divided by 3x. And this would now be plus 1 divided by 3x. Okay. So just to reiterate again, that since this was not a 3x, we had to get it to being what they wanted. So 3 divided by 3 would get me 1. But then you got to be fair. You got to divide each number by 3. And now we're at here. 
Now, let's find out what those actual values are. Well, they did say that the x was equal to 60.6, right? So I know that x equals 60.6. We don't have to do any math here to find out what x is because they gave it to us. So for each one, I just have to multiply by, in this case, 2 thirds times the x and 2 thirds by the x and 1 third to get my resulting change in the tor. So this number right here would be minus 2 over 3 times 60.6. This would be the same thing, 2 over 3 times 60.6. And this would be plus 1 over 3 times 60.6. Let's see what those values are. So 2 divided by 3 times 60.6, you get 40.4. So this would be a decrease in 40.4 tor. This is the same number, so it would be the same thing, minus 40.4 tor. And then this would be an increase of 60.6 .6 divided by 3, 20.2. And I will just say positive. Remember, the positive just means increasing, so this should be positive 60.6. .6. And then these are decreasing. Remember, there are no such thing as negative pressure. The negative here represents that you are dropping by 40.4 torr. Your equilibrium value is still going to be positive. You just dropped by 40.4 from your initial value. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Maybe I'll just leave this, you know, a little bit lower just so that it doesn't look confusing. But I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers at this point, which is absolutely incredible. My brother and I are so thankful for you guys, and we wouldn't be here without you. So thank you so much. I'm so glad that we're making an impact uh, with you guys and making you learn. You know, We also have physics and math videos, so go check the channel out if you need help there as well. We got you, all right? I will see you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.